But Chris, my wife and kids don't eat the same boring food over and over every week. I'm gonna show you how to fix that. All right guys, a common problem that countless clients, competitors have told me over the years is that if you put me on a strict meal plan, where I eat the same meals or same foods roughly every day, my family, my kids, my wife, girlfriend, gets tired of eating the same thing too. And my thought process has always been very simple. They don't have to. Just because you're on a diet doesn't mean my wife needs to be or my kids. I can still make all of their food, just like I make mine, and we eat together. Because to me, that's what's the most important, is the actual family dinner experience. Not necessarily what everyone's eating, right? So just because I'm eating chicken and rice, and Angel's eating steak and potato, and Ty's eating ground beef and a salad, and Daxon's eating macaroni and cheese, it doesn't matter. It's that quality time together where we're talking, laughing, joking, telling about our day. Not the actual foods that are going to our mouth. My kids don't care if I eat garbage with them. At this point, dad always eats his normal meals. They don't care. They just want to hear me, talk to me, tell me about what's going on with their life. So take this video today and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna make two meals at the same time that both taste great. One I'm gonna measure to the T that's perfect for me and the other one I'm gonna make for Chaz and I'm just gonna make it taste great. I'm gonna give it lots of love. So follow along. Let me show you how to how I still have a successful life and stay on plan. So I already told you a little bit about what we're doing. So meal one for Chaz, it's gonna be top sirloin steak, potato in the air fryer, bread in the toaster, which is I'm gonna make a butter garlic bread, and then we're gonna get him some fresh corn. We're gonna boil right behind our meat. So let's get at it. So for step one, I'm gonna cut this corn in half, just make it easier for use. And we're gonna drop that into the boiling water. Next for me, I'm gonna do rice, chicken, olive oil, and berries. So let's measure these berries out first. I'm gonna do 100 grams of berries, so I'm gonna do 50 from blueberry and 50 from raspberry. And if you can tell, I got a new skill because my other one died while we were at the beach. It was a very sad day, and Amazon no longer carries it. Now 50 raspberry, 99, maybe a little one. All right, next up, we're gonna be slicing this potato like french fries. We're gonna let it soak in some water to pull the starch out, and then we're gonna drop it in the air fryer. Again, just drop these right in the water. All right, so we have two glorious pieces of top sirloin. One, as you can see, is a little fatter than the other, but we're gonna season that. Shocker, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic. And then while the stove preheats, I'm gonna get measuring my food. All right, eight ounces of chicken or 230 grams. Just kept it at grams today. Since it's an off day, I only get 175 grams of rice, sadly. Down from my normal 250. There it is. I don't know why I like this shredded chicken so much. It just tastes great. I love dipping it in barbecue sauce and then eating it with the rice with just salt and pepper on it. I feel like if I tear it up more like this, it just digests much easier and goes down smoother. It makes it easier for my digestive system to process eight ounces of chicken as opposed to if I eat big chunks of it like that. Alrighty, chicken is shredded. Now we rinse the potatoes and season. Oh, lost one. So I just throw another little bit of rinse on here. It's hard to tell on that camera, but those potatoes definitely had some like murky water behind it. So from here, what we want to do is we want to dry them out. So, so this way they have a good crisp Drop them on a paper towel, pat them dry, get all that water out of there. Now we're gonna drop them back into the bowl, add some olive oil, salt, and pepper. Olive oil, heavy salt, pepper. And let's make these have a little heat. This doesn't take a lot. Toss. Now into the air fryer. 375, 10 minutes. Two slices Dave Killer bread. These are the smaller ones. And all we're gonna do, touch of spray butter. And then garlic powder to make some garlic toast. 
just like that. Oh, it's gonna be so good. And that will go right in the toaster right before everything's done. So now we take the meat, rice, and over to the stove and we're going to cook the food. All right, so for me, one tablespoon of olive oil. All right, spread it around the pan. Drop the chicken, wait for the sizzle. And then we just slide the rice in this backside. And it'll crisp that rice up, give it some good coloring. Olive oil has always been one of my all time favorite fats. A little bit of water, a lot of salt, pepper, and now we lid. Olive oil, coat the pan, now we drop cheddar steak. Oh, listen to that. Nice sear on both sides. I like to sweeten my fruit with a little bit of Splenda, the way it tastes like candy. So over, shake, get those blueberries on the bottom, shake, and then right into the dish here. Ah, lost one. All right, you see that steam? That's gonna revitalize that rice, and which is why I put water on it. And now all I wanna do here is I'm gonna separate the chicken from the rice. And watch what I do. So you see all the oils in the bottom of that pan, I wanna evenly distribute that. You see that crisp yellow color? I want that all throughout that rice. So we're gonna simply flip it, and then we're gonna do the same thing with the chicken. I wanna get it evenly coated with that olive oil. So that way none of your chicken is dry. All right, shake it out there, and I'll show you what I like to do. So I will separate that chicken, and I'll just flatten this rice out on the pan. And that's what's going to give it a nice little crisp. Almost feel like you're getting a fried rice. Look at that. Now let it sit there for about mm, three minutes. Oh, good first sear. Look at that. All right, my go-to barbecue sauce. Sweet and spicy, g -U. This stuff, I love. We go 30 grams of it, because that's one serving, so 30 grams. I'll show you how I do this here. Chicken with the rice behind it. Make a spot for all that glorious rice. Oh, look at that. I know you can, may not be able to see it, but that rice is so crispy. All right, into the toaster the bread goes. And start. Corn is ready, we're just gonna strain the water. Try not to burn my hands. Steak is ready. I'm gonna pull that off on the cutting board just so we can rest. Look at that meat, oh my word. Fries, dead center. Look at that crispness. And now, all these glorious pieces of meat. Look at that. There you have it, two meals out at the same time. Both taste amazing. Mine is fully measured to the gram and chances is gonna taste great. There is no reason you can't do this for your wife, your girlfriend, your husband, whoever. That's the biggest hang up, guys. If you look for an excuse, you can have one. But to me, if you're serious about achieving your goals, you will do whatever it takes to not only achieve them, but also keep the people in your life happy around you. So will those take some sacrifice? Yes. Will you not be able to eat that glorious bread or the fried potatoes or that steak? You may have to eat the chicken and the rice. But if you embrace that mindset of this is what I must do to be my absolute best or to be leaner or to do, be bigger, it doesn't matter. So stay on plan, nail it, and make the other people around you happy. Don't make the excuse of my family doesn't want to eat the same thing every single night. You can, there's no reason why you can't make a fully separate meal. I've had nights where I've made my meal, made Angela's meal, and then ordered a pizza for the boys. It doesn't matter because as I said earlier in the video, what matters is the quality time and sharing a meal together, not what everyone's eating. And the way I've always thought about that is if we all went to Outback Steakhouse and ate, we wouldn't all get the exact same meal. We would all get something different. So we wouldn't order the same meals if we went out, why you get so obsessed and caught up on, I have to make a family dinner where everyone eats the exact same thing. You don't. Get the food that everyone likes, make it the one that fits your meal plan, and then just enjoy the time together. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, Crib and TV.